So Ubisoft has got themselves in hot water again when one of their executives said that gamers need to get comfortable for not owning anything anymore. I need to accept the subscription model is the future. And that hasn't gone down with some people very well. Because what Ubisoft is basically saying is they have their subscription service and it will become the future of things and gamers just need to be comfortable that they won't actually own any of their games anymore. Instead, they're just going to have to rely on subscription services and other services like that just to play their games. They say based on like other subscription services, they think it's going to take over and some people really just aren't happy about that. Personally, I don't think subscriptions are the best i like subscriptions for the places of maybe testing some games trying some different games that maybe you don't like i quite like game pass but game pass isn't too expensive and it's just one subscription it's an expansion of xbox live i don't mind that one too much it has a lot of stuff but this is specifically just for ubisoft games and it's mainly to celebrate that they're bringing out a new tier this is where this um clip or like not clip more like extract has come from from them talking about their new classics plan on their subscription so currently on ubisoft's website there are two different tiers of ubisoft plus that's the name of their subscription service and you can play some of them on console as well there's the classic selection which does 50 plus iconic ubisoft games and access to standard editions and then there's also a premium edition at 15.99 uh, a month and it allows you to play 100 plus games on pc with ubisoft connect day one releases more pr play with premium editions, unique monthly rewards, some deals for buying new games or virtual packs, and there's some other little bits and bobs <laughs> that go along with that. Now, what people are getting upset about is that they want to buy their own games. Personally, I like to buy games. I've become more of a digital gamer for most of my modern games. Now, I know some people still like disc. I personally just don't have the room anymore for disc. So I do prefer digital, but I prefer to download my games. Because one of the problems is when you can down you can't like download and everything's like behind a paywall. I'm not saying this is a cloud based service, but there are some cloud based elements for it, I believe, with Luna, the Amazon thing that I don't think anyone's ever talked about. It's just that you now need you'll need an internet connection and a subscription just to be able to play the games that you want to play. I don't really like that. Personally, one of the downsides to digital, especially on console is Sometimes it just messes up and it won't even let you open the game that you've paid for straight away. It always says, an account with owns the game, something needs to be signed in. That isn't always ideal. And if you don't have the description or the servers go down, well, that's kind of it. You can't play any element of that game, at least with some games that have a solo and a multiplayer aspect. You can still play the solo aspect with it not being online. But this is what they want in the future. You have to subscribe. They want you to subscribe for everything, pay for everything monthly. Yeah, you might get all the content, but I just don't like that. Because it's what's it? It's another subscription. And these subscriptions aren't really cheap. <laughs> you know, if you want to play a new Ubisoft game, that's $40.99. And I don't think Ubisoft, personally, myself, I I just wouldn't get any value out of that. I personally won't be subscribing to this Ubisoft Plus, as I just don't think they offer enough value for me in, the, in what games I like to play. But it's just once again, it's just this push against for subscription-based services versus the rest of us that just want to either buy digitally or buy physically. And there's a lot to be said for buying physically as well. You actually own the game, you have a tangible asset. You can resell that asset if you do not want it anymore. You know, if you get a game you don't like it, you can always take it and sell it to someone else, trade it in at like a local game store or something. And there's a lot to be said for that. Now the guy did say that there is it will be a lot, you know, like a while yet before the whole thing's like subscription based. And it's obviously they're gonna keep selling physical games, digital games that you can purchase, but the thing in the future they probably will just one day sadly just be a subscription based service. And I think that really will be a sad day for gaming, a sad day for physical media as well and you know that's on a decline which is not great and for owning your own games and what are the other downsides to like a streaming service for games <laughs> having to download all your games all the time is not always optimal especially if you don't have the best internet connection which some of us don't have in the world you know games are actually over 100 gig i'd rather that they focus more on making their games more compact to download than just trying to sell the subscription services yeah i looked the other day at um assassin's creed valhalla on game pass and it was 120 gig why is that game 120 gig really can they not make it any smaller 
GTA Online has GTA 5 on GTA Online and all the content for that game and it's still smaller than Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I really don't both think there's an, enough content in that game to warrant that size file. Maybe they could work on that instead of trying to sell us another subscription. But I want to know what you guys think of Ubisoft basically saying that subscription's going to be the future and they don't want you to, you know, buy digital games, buy physical games. They want you to get comfortable when you sit back, take it, accept the fact you will own nothing and be happy. This is me signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.